Hello, uh, my name is Adam Wentworth, I'm a former lab manager at UConn and president of 3D Printing Club. And this video is going to show you how to use um, Autodesk Recap Photo to go through the photogrammetry process um, using nothing but cell phone pictures or whatever camera you have to use photos to generate a 3D model and then to 3D print that model. Um, so first thing you'll do is Google this Autodesk Recap Photo Student. If you don't put student in there, it's not going to link you to the free version, which is here. Um, so you just follow this, go through the process. You may have to input, like uh, create an account. Um, you maybe have like a .edu email address to put in, and then it'll let you install. This Recap um, Pro comes with Recap Photo, which you'll need, um, so you'll get that. Um, the next thing you're going to do is basically um, take a bunch of pictures of your object, roughly like 30 to 40 pictures. Um, and let's see, we'll go here. So upload those um, into, this is uh, Autodesk Recap, so if you basically say a new project, um, photo to 3D, then it'll launch Recap Photo, and from there you can make a new, um, like load a model here. So you'll load a model, you'll, um, no actually you will create a 3D object. And here you're going to import all your pictures. Um, you're going to go through all of them and delete any blurry ones, or ones that are, say, oversaturated, like the the white parts of the image are all mushed together, or the black parts of the image are all mushed together. Um, ideally, the technique to take these photos is to overlap each of them by about 50%. Um, any areas of high detail, get a, a close-up of that, and make them sequential. So take a, take a step or two and move your way around an object clockwise or counterclockwise, but make it you know, flow from one side to the other then take some at maybe some higher angles. Um, what I like to do is try to, if you have a small object, to um, suspend it maybe with like a Q-tip and a piece of clay to like kind of um, enable yourself to get the underside of that object. Um, and the best objects to, to use photogrammetry on are not reflective. So if you have to, you know, blow some uh, baby powder over the surface or in some way make it a matte finish on the surface, that would be best. And if it's not super dark, that would be great. So if you had um, nice, soft, even lighting around your object, then that is the best. Um, if you've got any you know, windows where you'll have glare from the sun, then you want to try and block those out. So then put all, put all your photos in here, click Create. Um, there are options in there to do auto cropping and you know, high resolution or whatever. Now typically, the resolution this is capable of is extremely high and you probably won't need that. So, um, you can do the auto crop and pretty low resolution for 3D printing. Um, okay, so at this point, we'll close that and we'll show you some of the files that I've generated here. Uh, we've done various pieces of art or statues or gourds and things like that. So uh, all these models really do have a matte finish. Um, let's see. Um, so once the model is done, you can click this download button and it will pop up over here. Double click that and it will open this model. This is the raw model that's got you know, everything else attached. And, uh, I've done a fairly good job to suspend this in free space so there's not too much external to this that was close. Um, but you may have a lot of extra stuff in here. And what you're gonna try to do is select just your area of interest. So in this one, I'm going to use this box selection tool and highlight like this bottom part and you'll see it turns light blue and click delete and then you'll see it chop set off. So, um, as well as any other spots you see where there's, you know, there's a bit extra that you don't need, um, let's go ahead and um, 
try to get that as well. So, uh, then I'll try to zoom in. So there's some navigation here. There's zoom. Maybe it's a box. No. So it's dragging, dragging up that zooms in. Uh, for this zoom, I'm just.